Hello, my young viewers. Have you noticed what these characters are doing in this picture? One is dancing, jumping, running, laughing, crying, and cycling. Any idea what, what these mean? Well, these are all action words, right? So action words are generally called verbs. So today let's learn transitive and intransitive verbs. Verbs are action words that is already known to us. Today let's see the division into which the verbs are divided. They are transitive and intransitive verb. Let us further know about their definition and their uses. So let's check out what is a transitive verb. Do you see this picture? Here the boy kicks the football. So let's concentrate on the words such as boy, kicks and football. Here Boy is the subject, kicks is the verb which is the action and football is the object. So let us ask questions to the verb and find out whether it is a transitive verb or not. In order to find that we need to ask certain questions to the action word. So let's ask the verb as to who kicks the football. We get a reply that it's the boy who's the subject or the doer, the doer of the action. Similarly, let's ask another question that is what or whom does he kick? Here again we get the reply as the football which is the object, the object on which the action is done. So we get a clear picture that there is an action done by a subject as well as an object on which the subject has done the action. Therefore, the action word kicks. Action passes from the boy who is the subject to the object football which is the object. Thus, kicks is a transitive verb. Let's check out another example. You see the picture here? Here the boy flies his kite. Let's concentrate on the words as boy, flies and kite. Boy is the subject, the doer of the action, flies is his action and kite is the object. So once again, let's ask the questions to the verb, who flies the kite? We get the reply as the boy, who is the subject or the doer of the action. One more question, that is, what does he fly? We get the reply as, it is the kite, which is the object. Therefore, here again, we get the correct information that, the action flies, passes from the boy to the object kite. Hence, flies is a transitive verb. I hope transitive verb is clear to all of you. Let's move on. To conclude, we can say that when a verb needs an object, to add meaning to it, then the verb is called a transitive verb. So, the examples are kicks and flies. Now, let's move on. You see the picture here? Here, the picture says the clock strikes. 
Here clock is the subject and strikes is the verb, which is the action. Yet another picture we see the baby sleeps. Here baby is the subject and sleeps is the verb. Now you might have noticed one thing that here we only have the subject and the action done by the subject. And the element of object is missing out here. But still both these sentences are quite meaningful in them itself. It doesn't require an object for clarification. So let's see further what happens. So in order to check out whether the verb strikes and sleeps are transitive or not, let's use the formula of asking whom and what to the action words. So when we ask whom or what to strikes, we do not get an answer. Same is the case with the action word sleeps because when we ask whom or what, we do not get a definite answer which clearly means that the verb's action stops with the doer and it does not pass on to an object. Thus, it is called an intransitive verb. So to conclude, we can say when a verb does not need an object to complete its meaning, then it is called an intransitive verb. And its examples are strikes and sleeps as we have seen in the sentences. So the Thumb rules that we need to keep in mind are transitive verbs are always followed by an object to give meaning to the sentence and we find out whether the verb is transitive or not. We ask questions like what and whom to the verb whereas an intransitive verb is an independent verb and they are not followed by an object. So even if we ask questions like what and whom to the verb, we do not get a proper answer. So these are the basic difference between a transitive verb and an intransitive verb. I guess it was clear to all of you. Thank you children.